I just want to say, you know, you losing your son in this manner. Myself, I was just incarcerated for a week because I missed a $20 court fine. And they threw me in a cell that was dirty. Didn't offer me anything to clean it. And it's supposed to be like a COVID mod, certain part of the prison, but they just throw you in there. And then all I had to do was pay some money to get out, but they wouldn't let me because they're using me as COVID relief funds. I know that's the reason, you know? And, you know, I, I could have been in that gone, but you know, I, it, it's crazy how they just take and you have no control. He might have been wanting to call you to tell you what they're doing to him, you know? They, have, they, they can take everything from you. They can put you in a hole. You have no control. There's no way to give a message. You know, and I'm sorry for your loss. And like I said, when I was talking to you, you know, the way to, for you to keep walking around today and tomorrow and, you know, continue is to look around here and see all these young people and know that they're getting a message. So our, our losses and with our loved ones can save other lives. So Jose Franco losing his life in prison I'm sure he was very scared and, you know, and like I said, I'm sure he wanted to tell you he loved you and he, might, he wasn't able to. So I'm using my voice to tell you from him that he loves you. And just him on your birthday, when you said that, your birthday is a celebration of your life, and now you get to remember his life as well every day you have a birthday. So don't look at it as you had to cremate your son on your birthday. Look at it as my baby boy. Have your mother memories on your birthday to make you smile. You know, we all love you and this is a shame. There should be more justice. Something has to change. Something has to change.